Hello everyone, Jim Burris here. We're back at the fish pond. I know that everyone in town wants to see what happened out here after the massive rains we've just had. So you see behind me, we've got the irrigation going in. We'll show you some of the pipes that are over here and how we hook it up. We're also gonna run the bank. Obviously you can't fight mother nature, but I'm gonna tell you the truth, it looks a lot better now than it did when we tried to do it with a backhoe. So we're gonna go on over here in a little bit and I'm gonna show you the bank. I'll show you how we do the irrigation and everyone there knows about that big rock that was over on the other side there. Well, it's underwater. So please understand that this is just all your groundwater here. It's all groundwater here. We haven't added anything yet. We're still doing the irrigation. You'll be able to see the green flags. That's where the, the sprinkler head is gonna come up, just like your yard at home, just a little bit bigger and fancier. And one of the things we talked about is a tree that's behind me. We did protect it, it made it, it's in great shape, and we're very happy about that. The last thing I'm gonna show you is over there by the road, is how we're gonna hook this all up to the water system here in Roswell. All right, we're over here in the main hub. So we got the pipe here, it's gonna come from the main, main source of water. It's gonna go over there and that's how we're gonna fill the pond. Behind me is where the computers and electricity are gonna go. And then you're gonna see here that the deep trench, that's got electric, come up a foot with the dirt, and then we got the water and we're headed back over to the, the fountain. That's where another box is gonna be. So we got two, two surfaces there and then it comes over here and that's how we're gonna power this whole system. So one trench is for the pond, another trench is for the electricity, and the one that goes all the way around is for the irrigation. We put it in a circle, that way the pressure is always the same no matter where you're at. There you have it, that's where we're at right now. We'll get back together after we get a little further on the irrigation. We'll get some more of this dirt work taken care of because like I said, Mother Nature did a better job. We'll just smooth it out a little bit and we'll start planting grass. So irrigation's next, then the waterfall, then we'll plant some grass, Maybe take a look at some trees in the fall. Then we're gonna throw the fish in. All right guys, we'll catch you later. Hello everyone, we're back at the fish pond again today. We're starting to finish things up. You'll see behind me, you've got gaming fish out there. They're helping us put the bubblers in the water. You got twice as many going in. Before you had three, now you, on each side, now you're gonna have four, so we got a total of eight. So let me give a shout out to this guy. Jacob Miller, he's a new biologist for the southern part of the state, bless his heart. And then we all know Sean Denny, he's also out there in the boat. So we got two guys, some game and fish. We got some of our crews helping with the airlines. You're gonna hear some noise behind us. We got chainsaws, we got people digging, we've got backhoes, we got dump trucks. That's probably what you're hearing now is the dump trucks emptying. We're filling in any of the ruts that were caused by all the rain we've had. To give you an update, the bubblers are going in. So that's just an air hose that goes to the compressor, right? When that's done, we get a little more water in here. We're gonna hit the switch. So we'll bring you back when we st start putting water back in here. I told everyone we were gonna fix the waterfall. So if you look off to the side here, you see the waterfall. We fixed the concrete, we put plaster on it. We're good to go there. So. We've got to put grass seed, trees, hook up the pumps for the waterfall, test everything, and we're out. So we're getting really close. Hopefully we'll be done by the end of September, but we'll be back one or two more times to show you where we're at. So I do appreciate Game and Fish with all the free labor, streets department, parks guys, zoo crew. We got everybody out here. We're gonna get it done. So grass seed probably in tomorrow. So we'll let you know how we're doing. You guys take care, just wanted to give you an update. Hi everyone, Jim Burris. Back one last time, We're gonna give you our update. This will be it. Wanna we'll go through the project we've done here at the pond. If you remember, we came in here and the wall was falling down and we had lots of ruts, no grass, dead trees. So here we go. <laughs> we pulled all the, all the mud and muck out of the pond. We moved the dirt to the far side. We cut the wall down. We tried to get a three to one grade so we can take care of everything. We had some big rainstorms. We had to come back, fix that a little bit. The water department came in, punched in some city water. You can see it running over there to fill the pond. 
fantastic thanks to them. Kept going with the parks guys. We planted trees. They're planting grass today. We fixed the waterfall. We put a fence up on the far side to get back in the code for the nice guys over here at the zoo. So I want to tell everyone thank you. We appreciate it. It's been a while. A lot of hard work. A lot of irrigation. A lot of trees. It's going to be nice to get the grass in here. You'll see us watering for about five to seven days. This will come up green. So I wanted to thank everyone. A lot of hard work. You can see the bubblers back behind me. Remember the state guys came in with game and fish. There's just a lot of teamwork went into this. And I wanted to tell everyone thank you. So you guys take care and we'll work on the, the next project. See y'all. Bye.